Doran Park was the scene on Wednesday as the Bourne Braves took down the Falmouth Commodores 5-2 in large part due to this man right next to me. Justin Lasko, you had four innings, allowed two runs, five, uh, four, uh, four hits. What was working well for you today? Uh, I just kind of had all my pitches moving and, and working well. I had confidence in all of them at any time, so when you can keep hitters off balance like that and not really know what's coming, it, it works well in your favor. And there was a rain out yesterday. You were going to be playing yesterday. You were going to be pitching at Katuit. How did you kind of stay locked in and stay ready after the game got rained out? I mean, it was definitely tough. You had yourself locked in for a game yesterday, and all the nerves were built up, and you were ready to go, and then you get the word that you're going again tomorrow. So, you know, it's another night of nerves, another tough night of sleep to, to be had, and, you know, you just got to kind of mentally prepare for that. So, I mean, the first three innings, three up, three down, you were perfect. Did you even know you were perfect? Was that even in your mind, or were you just doing your thing? I mean, you always know you're perfect. I, I knew I hadn't left the windup yet, and it's it's a comfortable feeling. But I mean, you know, you, you eventually have, have it in the back of your mind, but you have to try to just ignore it and just kind of keep out, keep going out there and doing your thing. Alex and I were talking earlier about the job that Cooper Johnson did behind the plate, and when he's calling the game like this, you don't have the capability to work with him at UMass. What was it like working with him for the first time? Uh, it was good. I mean, it, it felt comfortable. It felt natural. I mean, there was a couple of times where I wanted something different, but other than that, he, he, we were right on page. He was good behind the plate. He was solid. He was sticking pitches. You know, he was doing what he had to do. He threw a guy out on a ball that didn't really go below my head to second base. So it's nice to have someone back there that's pretty solid. And, and after you guys give up 10 runs in a game like you did on opening day against, against YD, is it kind of nice to be kind of the stopper and help your team, you know, get back on track and, and have a good, good game where you only allowed two runs? Yeah, I mean, you know the pressure's on. You know, you have to be the guy to go out there and throw up some zeros. And I like, I like being in that position. I like having the pressure on me. You know, it's when I think I perform the best. So, when I can go out there and do my thing and just kind of mo like settle in and feel comfortable, it's, it's nice. Especially the one, two, three, and you get the first inning jitters out. It was nice. So Justin Lasko goes four innings, allows just two runs on five hits. Really does a good job for the Bourne Braves. They get their first win of the season on the 30th home opener in Braves history. Tomorrow there's going to be a game right back here at Doran Park at 6 p.m. Stay tuned for that. Okay. Okay. Hello and welcome back into Doran Park for some Tomahawk talk. The Bourne Braves got this victory over the Falmouth Commodores 5-2, in large part due to Justin Lasko's pitching. But Alex, you think there's so much more. Alongside Alex Moore and Blaine McCormick, I'm your host, Rob Warner. Alex, tell me about how the bullpen really pitched well today and, and helped Justin Lasko preserve an early lead. Yeah, exactly. He had an early lead, and then it's always key when that bullpen can come in and just lights light up that... Um, that their offense and to shut them down, honestly. Trey Vanderweide, Nick Moriel, and Jacob Wallace all did a tremendous job. I mean, Trey Vanderweide came in in the fifth inning, runners on, got a strikeout, walked the guy, but then he rolled up a double play, and then he went three up, three down the very next inning. I mean, it's just so key when that bullpen can come in and provide that for your team. So Blaine looked like Justin Lasko had it going on early, but the early offense, too, of the, of the Braves really helped, looked like it it made a difference and helped him behind the mound a little bit. What did you see from, from the offense early on for the Braves? Well, especially from the first two batters of the game, Chase Murray and also Anthony Prado, just able to get on base effectively, and then Prado having that massive double that was able to score the first run of the ball game. I've really been impressed with him. We saw a home run from him at YD on Tuesday, and then he comes in here swinging at a – uh, a great ball that was able to get a double and an RBI off of it. One thing I noticed, too, was with Alika Williams, one of the better players in this game. He had kind of a rough outing on, uh, on Tuesday with that error that he had, but immediately able to put a solid pop into straightaway center field, almost went out. We don't really see that too much here at Doran Park, but Alika Williams, what a job from him today. And so Alika Williams had a great game, obviously, but the defense really also looked like it was so much better after giving up four four errors in the game in their in their, in their season opener against the Whitey Red Sox on Tuesday. What did you see out of the defense, Alex? Uh, just a very defensively sound game. I mean, balls that were hit to everyone, they got in front of it, camped underneath fly balls. Alika Williams, had, we were just talking about him, had a tremendous backhand play over second base and had a great throw over to get the guy. It's just, you know, like um, Justin's not a strikeout guy. He uses his defense to his advantage, and it did. they just came in and helped him out big time tonight. And with some of the bullpen guys that we've already mentioned, Nick Moriel really did a number in the eighth inning. Blaine, what did you see out of him? Well, with like you said, Rob, he came in, gets two strikeouts. One of them was a little bit of a trickler, so the runner did advance over to first. But a heck of a job from Nick Moriel. I've been excited to see him pitch in a game. And 
what a job out of the bullpen, and that's really effective. So when you have a guy like Nick and then Jacob Wallace rounding out, that's a heck of a bullpen to have, especially later on in games. So what we do when the Boring Braves win is we go Brave of the game. Guys, <laughs> let's each pick our Braves of the game. Mine, I'm going to start it off with Justin Lasko, uh, the starter for the for the Braves today. And he really was a great pitcher and really helped stop, uh, you know, the, the runs. And they were pouring out against the Whitey Red Sox as the Braves gave up 10 runs. I thought he really did a number in his four innings. He couldn't get, he couldn't get out of the fifth inning, but he really did a good job while he was in there. And the bullpen really helped him, you know, seal the deal after that. My player of the game, Alika Williams. I mean, nine-hole batter coming in. I mean, he went one for three, but what didn't show up is he had that sack fly, and he also had the RBI off of his grounder to shortstop. I mean, just adding those two RBIs late in that lineup at the nine-hole guy, that's a game-changer for the Braves. Blaine, what about you? I got to go with Nick Morial. He's been phenomenal at Georgetown, and then he comes into here and really show that he can pound the zone effectively, really fast, fastball out of the fingertips, effective breaking balls when he needed. Jacob Wallace can be added into that conversation too, coming out of the pen and going into that closer spot. It's always tough to be a closer when you're you know, up in a summer league and playing with a whole lot of guys you don't really know. But also, I'm going to give a shout out to Cooper Johnson behind the plate. That's a lot of players of the game for me. I'm being kind of selfish, but like with Cooper, calling a game like that with guys he's never even played before in his first game and then just being here a couple days, really effective job. So overall, I'm going to say Nick. <laughs> All right, so Nick Moriel, we got Justin Lasko and Alik Williams, but a lot of Braves really had a great game today. As in the home opener, the Braves get it done 5-2 to two over the Commodores tomorrow night. We're going to do it again at 6 p.m. for first pitch against the Orleans team, and we will see you then.